1926 subpart P Appendix D. Aluminum hydraulic shoring for trenches. Appendix D to subpart P of part 1926 aluminum hydraulic shoring for trenches. Scope. This appendix contains information that can be used when aluminum hydraulic shoring is provided as a method of protection against cave-ins in trenches that do not exceed 20 feet 6.1 meters in depth. This appendix must be used when design of the aluminum hydraulic protective system cannot be performed in accordance with section 1926.652 C. 2. B. Soil classification. In order to use data presented in this appendix, the soil 1 type or types in which the excavation is made must first be determined using the soil classification method set forth in Appendix A of Subpart P of Part 1926. C. Presentation of information. Information is presented in several forms as follows. Information is presented in tabular form in tables D1.1, D1.2, D1.3 and E1.4. Each table presents the maximum vertical and horizontal spacings that may be used with various aluminum member sizes and various hydraulic cylinder sizes. Each table contains data only for the particular soil type in which the excavation or portion of the excavation is made. Tables D1.1 and D1.2 are for vertical shores in types A and B soil. Tables D1.3 and D1.4 are for horizontal whaler systems in types B and C soil. 2. Information concerning the basis of the tabular data and the limitations of the data is presented in paragraph D of this appendix. 3. Information explaining the use of the tabular data is presented in paragraph E of this appendix. 4. Information illustrating the use of the tabular data is presented in paragraph F of this appendix. 5. Miscellaneous notations, footnotes, regarding table D1.1 through D1.4 are presented in paragraph G of this appendix. 6. Figures illustrating typical installations of hydraulic shoring are included just prior to the tables. The illustrations page is entitled Aluminum Hydraulic Shoring, Typical Installations. D. Basis and Limitations of the Data. 1. Vertical shore rails and horizontal whales are those that meet the section modulus requirements in the D1 tables. Aluminum material is 6061T6 or material of equivalent strength and properties. 2. Hydraulic cylinders specifications. I. 2 inch cylinders shall be a minimum 2 inch inside diameter with a minimum safe working capacity of no less than 18,000 pounds axial compressive load at maximum extension. Maximum extension is to include full range of cylinder extensions as recommended by product manufacturer. The second, 3 inch cylinders shall be a minimum 3 inch inside diameter with a safe working capacity of not less than 30,000 pounds axial compressive load at extensions as recommended by product manufacturer. 3. Limitation of application. I. It is not intended that the aluminum hydraulic specification apply to every situation that may be experienced in the field. These data were developed to apply to the situations that are most commonly experienced in current trenching practice. Shoring systems for use in situations that are not covered by the data in this appendix must be otherwise designed as specified in section 1926.652 c. 2. When any of the following conditions are present, the members specified in the tables are not considered adequate. In this case, an alternative aluminum hydraulic shoring system or other type of protective system must be designed in accordance with section 1926.652. A. When vertical loads imposed on cross braces exceed a 100-pound gravity load distributed on a one-foot section of the center of the hydraulic cylinder. B. When surcharge loads are present from equipment weighing in excess of 20,000 pounds. C. When only the lower portion or a trench is shored and the remaining portion of the trench is sloped or benched unless the sloped portion is sloped at an angle less steep than three horizontal to one vertical, or the members are selected from the tables for use at a depth which is determined from the top of the overall trench and not from the toe of the sloped portion. E. Use of tables D1.1, D1.2, D1.3, and D1.4. The members of the shoring system that are to be selected using this information are the hydraulic cylinders and either the vertical shores or the horizontal whales. When a whaler system is used the vertical timber sheeting to be used is also selected from these tables. 
The tables D1.1 and D1.2 for vertical shores are used in type A and B soils that do not require sheeting. Type B soils that may require sheeting and type C soils that always require sheeting are found in the horizontal whale tables D1.3 and D1.4. The soil type must first be determined in accordance with the soil classification system described in Appendix A to Subpart P of Part 1926. Using the appropriate table, the selection of the size and spacing of the members is made. The selection is based on the depth and width of the trench where the members are to be installed. In these tables the vertical spacing is held constant at 4 feet on center. The tables show the maximum horizontal spacing of cylinders allowed for each size of whale in the whaler system tables, and in the vertical shore tables, the hydraulic cylinder horizontal spacing is the same as the vertical shore spacing. F. Example to illustrate the use of the tables. 1. Example 1. A trench dug in type A soil is 6 feet deep and 3 feet wide. From table D1.1, find vertical shores and 2-inch diameter cylinders spaced 8 feet on center, O, C, horizontally and 4 feet on center, O, C, vertically. See figures 1 and 3 for typical installations. 2. Example 2. A trench is dug in type B soil that does not require sheeting, 13 feet deep and 5 feet wide. From table D1.2, find vertical shores and 2-inch diameter cylinders spaced 6.5 feet O, C horizontally and 4 feet o c vertically see figures 1 and 3 for typical installations 3 a trench is dug in type b soil that does not require sheeting but does experience some minor rattling of the trench face the trench is 16 feet deep and 9 feet wide from table d 1.2 find vertical shores and 2 inch diameter cylinder with special oversleeves as designated by footnote hashtag b2 spaced 5.5 feet o c horizontally and 4 feet o c vertically plywood per footnote g7 to the d1 table should be used behind the shores see figures 2 and 3 for typical installations for example 4 a trench is dug in previously disturbed type b soil with characteristics of a type c soil and will require sheeting the trench is 18 feet deep and 12 feet wide 8-foot horizontal spacing between cylinders is desired for working space. From Table D1.3, find horizontal whale with a section modulus of 14.0 spaced at 4 feet O, C. Vertically and 3-inch diameter cylinder spaced at 9 feet maximum O, C. Horizontally. 3 by 12 timber sheeting is required at close spacing vertically. See Figure 4 for typical installation. 5. Example 5. A trench is dug in type C soil, 9 feet deep and 4 feet wide. Horizontal cylinder spacing in excess of 6 feet is desired for working space. From Table D1.4, find horizontal whale with a section modulus of 7.0 and 2-inch diameter cylinders spaced at 6.5 feet O, C. Horizontally. Or, find horizontal whale with a 14.0 section modulus and 3-inch diameter cylinder spaced at 10 feet O, C. Horizontally. Both whales are spaced 4 feet O, C. Vertically. 3 by 12 timber sheeting is required at close spacing vertically. See Figure 4 for typical installation. G. Footnotes and General Notes for Tables D1.1, D1.2, D1.3, and D1.4. For applications other than those listed in the tables, refer to section 1926.652 C2 for use of manufacturer's tabulated data. For trench depths in excess of 20 feet, refer to section 1926.652 C2 and section 1926.652 C3. Two two-inch diameter cylinders at this width shall have structural steel tube 3.5 by 3.5 by 0.1875 oversleeves or structural oversleeves of manufacturer specification, extending the full, collapsed length. 3. Hydraulic cylinders capacities. 2-inch cylinders shall be a minimum 2-inch inside diameter with a safe working capacity of not less than 18,000 pounds axial compressive load at maximum extension. Maximum extension is to include full range of cylinder extensions as recommended by product manufacturer. 2. 3-inch cylinders shall be a minimum 3-inch inside diameter with a safe work capacity of not less than 30,000 pounds axial compressive load at maximum extension. 
Maximum extension is to include full range of cylinder extensions as recommended by product manufacturer. 4. All spacing indicated is measured center to center. 5. Vertical shoring rails shall have a minimum section modulus of 0.40 inch. 6. When vertical shores are used, there must be a minimum of three shores spaced equally, horizontally, in a group. 7. Plywood shall be 1.125 inches. Thick softwood or 0.75 inch. Thick, 14 ply, arctic white birch, Finland form. Please note that plywood is not intended as a structural member, but only for prevention of local rattling, sloughing of the trench face, between shores. 8. See Appendix C for timber specifications. 9. Whales are calculated for simple span conditions. 10. See Appendix D, Item, D, for basis and limitations of the data. Figure No. 1. Vertical aluminum hydraulic shoring, spot bracing, figure no. 2. Vertical aluminum hydraulic shoring, with plywood, figure no. 3. Vertical aluminum hydraulic shoring, stacked, figure no. 4. Aluminum hydraulic shoring whaler system, typical. Figure 1 and figure 2 of aluminum hydraulic shoring. Figures 3 and 4 of aluminum hydraulic shoring. See Table D 1.1 for aluminum hydraulic shoring, vertical shores for type A soil. See Table D 1.2 for aluminum hydraulic shoring for vertical shores for type B soil. See Table D 1.3 for aluminum hydraulic shoring for whaler systems in type B soil. See Table D 1.4 for aluminum hydraulic shoring for whaler systems in type C soil.